a little bit smoother, but really, you just don't know people at all online, regardless of how much you talk to them. And you don't understand conflict, and you don't understand how much the group is going to divide until you're there with them, being like, oh, God. <laughs> so, you, there, oh, a lot of people have been talking about um, the need to humanize people in order to understand, um, to get along. Because I, I, the online part of the program was definitely a pretty good um, roadway into, you know, into the program. We definitely couldn't have started off face-to-face. Um, we got to know each other through some things like our favorite music and things like that. But um, I think that this has really humanized each other as part of the program. That um, we're not just people online. Like you said, you met people on Facebook, Elizabeth, that you hadn't met before. And it was really good, nice to just humanize people. That, that was my favorite part of this program, being able to humanize. And what about after the program? The program ends, this is, this is the culmination of the program. Um, we, we end um, when we all hop on our flights at 1 this morning. But, but we end the project. But does that end, are you still, do you still think you'll be able to maintain the friendships that you've made using social media? I don't think it's going to be the same. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, um, in the summer when we left, we all had, like, eight months later to look forward to. Like, you know, even um, regardless of, you know, anything, but the fact that we were all crying when we left in the summer, um, we were like, you know, we'll see each other again. And it's, and I'd like to be optimistic, and I'd like to think that um, you, we will definitely, everyone in here who's friends with me, like, we're going to keep in touch. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely through Facebook, definitely through everything. But, um, and I like to say that I can come back to the caucuses and I can see you guys again, but it's so difficult because um, while this uh, experiment made the world to me, my perspective of the world made it seem like such a smaller place because I saw so many, um, I just, it was so raw and I saw um, where my friends are coming from now, I, seeing them in their home environments, I understand a lot more about them and there are a lot of similarities that I can draw to my own life. Um, it's, you know, the distance is so difficult and I'd like to think that I can maintain a, an online relationship with you guys and then reunite again. It's just, um, it's, it really isn't the same. And it, and it's going back to the human perspective thing, it's like seeing a person tangible in front of you right there. It's it's so amazing, and it's it's not the same as much as I love Web 2.0 tools. It's not the same. <laughs> 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 I think that. Um, for me, I found that after July last year and spending time together, I spent all of August in LA and my mom had testified to this. I didn't do any of my summer homework. And I researched online the conflict. I researched, I saw the, the donkey video. I saw all of old, uh, the, the youth networks videos. I, I went crazy with trying to like immerse myself in the caucuses, basically. And, um, I also found myself communicating a lot with students online, but I found myself picking out things that they said and and saying like, oh, well, this kid's opinion is this, this kid's opinion is this, and there wasn't ever a wholesome conversation, even if we were talking on Skype. Um, and I think that, I think that social media for this program has helped to bring, to, to bridge some lines that couldn't have been bridged. Um, just fit with just face-to-face -face, um, interactions, but I think it's led to a lot of problems. And I don't think it's gonna be the same um, with just online and not these, and like, will I ever be able to go back to Azerbaijan? I don't know. Because now there's a stamp on my passport, now the government has me on national TV for a week, and now, you know, I, I don't know. Um, and, and as long as, it's frustrating because I'm going back and forth, and I'm like, I'm a Facebook addict. I'm, I'm like totally into social media, <laughs> but I don't think I think it leads to a lot of problems among people, and I, and it's it, it 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 can keep us together and it can keep us interacting, but it's not the same. It's not the same as me looking at. Them right now. You have the perspective of being the third party, so often you've, you've been able to listen to the conversations um, of your peers from both countries. Do you think that, um, that Facebook, that Skype, that those applications have enabled 
them to connect in a way that they would otherwise have not connected about about social issues, about things that aren't just local. And when I say local, I mean cross border, but um, but global. I think Jacob was going to talk first. And then, okay, go for it. Um, so I think the greatest form of social media is face-to-face -face communication. <laughs> I think that's that's very much a social medium. Um, I feel that sometimes it's easier to talk before you understand someone's humanity. Uh, I'll give an example. There was uh, a student from one country that said, now that I've seen kids from this other country, I know they're human, I know that I could harm them. It's I, Sometimes understanding someone um, as an individual, as a human, doesn't make you appreciate their humanity. It makes you realize that they're mortal just like you. So I think it was, it was to a certain extent, easier to communicate on the blogs, to a certain extent, easier to communicate on Facebook. It's not as personal, it's not as face-to-face. -face. Um, and I think that last night there was a, there was a, a dispute, there was an argument, um, and now, I mean, we've encouraged everyone to continue this argument using social media, using, using a blog, using social media, and, and that this will be a great way to continue this conversation because instead of just saying you're stupid and shutting someone out, if, you, if you're writing on a blog, you have to express yourself in words, you have to, um, you, you have to think about it because it's going up there for the whole world to see, and it's going, um, and, and you've got limited, uh, you, can't, you can't, like, rebuttal, you, you know, um, or rebut, or, you know what I mean. Um, but uh, you, you really have one paragraph, two paragraphs to really express yourself well, and that, to a certain extent, the, the most difficult conversations uh, might very well be yet to come, and it, and it might be using social media. And so, having said that, that's definitely one of the big successes of this program, is that the conversations we were afraid to have face-to-face -face because we could see that we're talking to an individual, see that we're talking to a person, and want to relate to them on a human level, might now be easier to have through social media because, um, I guess, the exact opposite intention of social media. And social media was supposed to, to make um, uh, communication seem more human, more personal, whereas now this is a step back from face-to-face -face communication, and it's probably the best yeah. medium to use um, to have these difficult discussions. Well, but I don't think change can actually happen over social media in, in this situation, just because Although people are getting their points across and they already have these really strong opinions and they're going to be writing down exactly what they think and it's probably not very different from what they thought, you know, eight months ago or before we did this program and I don't think they're really going to see very much change because they're not having that social interaction and they're not seeing the person as another individual and I don't think they're really going to be able to accept what they say. It's more just like expressing their own opinion. Do you really just, believe that in the past eight months the opinions of your peers haven't changed? Because clearly, I mean, I, having met you all a year and a half ago, you are completely different people now than you were then. I mean, also, but like, off of what you're saying, um, an online dialogue is, is up there for the world to see. It's another beautiful thing about social media. Yeah. Um, and, and if somebody who is completely unrelated to this program happens to see this dialogue and happens to say, well, you know, I've always agreed with this person, but now seeing this argument as a whole, seeing that there's two sides to this argument, seeing that there's three sides to this argument, ten sides to this argument, I can really understand that my side isn't the only side. And so, what if it doesn't change the opinions of the people who are involved in the argument? Maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe an argument up there as a public forum is intended uh, for the world to see and, and to change opinions globally. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, simply what I got from the game said was that you can't really change opinions, but maybe you can change open perspectives, yeah. you know. Well, I, I think what this was supposed to do, the face-to-face -face interaction, was sort of to open up the minds of the peers so that they could have meaningful conversation using social media, because I kind of feel that you can't open up someone's mind using social media because they can just click off the page mm -hmm. and they don't really have to listen to you. I think the job of face-to-face -face interaction was to show the humanity, to show that there's 10 sides to every story, 20, 30 billions mm -hmm. sides to every story, and so that they would be able to think more openly and be able to accept others' opinions. And then they'd go back to their countries, use, so, or our countries, mm -hmm. all of us, and use social media to continue that discussion. Did you want to say something? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I was just thinking maybe just came, I don't know, but like, Social media then has to be an extension. It's, it can't, you know, it has to be an extension of 
human connection? Is that sort of what we're trying to say? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like or like, what if holistic? Social media means nothing we, without human connection. Didn't we talk about yesterday a like holistic approach or something? A combination?